Chairman, and thanks to all of our witnesses who have joined us today. Um, Mr. Payne, let me start with you, sir. You're kind of in the middle here. Uh, you work for the Campaign Legal Center, is that right? That's correct. Is your, your uh, website campaignlegal.org? Correct. Okay. Does not the front page of your website say, I'm going to quote here, I want to get it right, the current U.S. Supreme Court is a threat to our democracy. The current U.S. Supreme Court is a threat to our democracy. Did I read that right? I, what I can say is that our uh, organization... But, but is that on your website? I am not certain exactly what's here, on the website. Here it is, right here, okay. Biggest Dallas. What that refers to is the voting rights legislation, I mean, voting rights cases of the Supreme Court. Uh, our organization is a voting rights organization that fights for all Americans to have the ability to vote. Yeah, but you got to click a bunch of times to find that explanation. I just want to make sure I read that correctly. Um, a few months ago, Mr. Payne, you, re you retweeted the following statement. Some justices are politicians in robes who thrive in a system where access and influence are for sale. Some justices are politicians in robes who thrive in a system where access and influence are for sale. Now that's a pretty bold statement. Is, I'm sorry, Senator, is that a news article? T t no, sir, that's a, that's a retweet here. You, you tweeted this out. Tell me which justices are for sale. Uh, I don't recall that tweet, but... Uh, here here it is. November 21, 2022. Can you tell me which justices are for sale? Uh, no. Are any of them for sale? No, the problem is that the American public has a perception that yeah, some yeah, justices but I'm, I'm may gonna, be... I'm going to establish the point first. I want to know... You tweeted this out. Do you believe that some justices are for sale? And if so, which ones? No, uh, Senator, I do not believe that justices are then for sale. Then why would you tweet this out? What, can you provide more context of what sure. that is? I'll, I'll get you a copy, but here it is. I okay. checked I, it and triple checked it. You also said I, so, less than a month ago that, that John Roberts, you retweeted this out. John Roberts is a disgrace. No, I actually. Not I disagree with 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 Justice Roberts. Well, you didn't call him Chief Justice Roberts. You called him John Roberts. No, this is that's, you, that's, retwe you retweeted this. No, Senator, I did not retweet that. Yes, sir, you did right here. It I will need to see. Dallas. I will. Can you provide a copy to sure. me now? But the, sure. I, I did not. Retweet can you tell that. me why you think Chief Justice Roberts is a disgrace? I did not say that. Did not retweet that. Oh, okay, maybe maybe Twitter got it wrong. Someone got it wrong. Let me ask you this, because the understated, the unstated premise of all this, sometimes it's stated, but the unstated premise of all, all this is that, is that some justices have been bribed. Let's just cut to the chase. Okay? Now, let me, let me stay with you, Mr. Payne. Um... Well, no, let, me, let me go to Mr. Fogel. I don't want to just pick on you, Mr. Payne. You, you, can, you can be looking up on Twitter where you said those things. Um, on April 4th, 2019, the American, American Civil Liberties Union paid for Justice Sotomayor's trip to San Juan, Puerto Rico. You ever been to San Juan, Mr. Fogel? Is it expensive? I keep forgetting. Um, well, it depends when you go. Yeah, how much do you think it costs to go down there? Uh, <laughs> depends whether you fly first class or economy. What if you fly first class? Oh, 
probably a couple thousand dollars. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the ACLU, do they have cases in front of the Supreme Court? All the time. They do, all the time? Sure. Do, do you think the ACLU was, was trying to bribe Justice Sotomayor? No, sir, I don't. I don't either. I don't either. But that's the unstated premise of all of this. Well, Senator, if I All may... these articles about Clarence, Justice Clarence Thomas and the Chief Justice of the United States and Justice Gorsuch, who sold an interest in an LLC to a, to a, to a, to a Democratic donor who had never met, that they bought him, isn't it? May, may I say something uh, in response, of course. Senator? I, I think there are two things going on here today. Uh, I think there is a political conflict, which is, as I said earlier, it's very intense. It's hyper-partisan. Uh, both sides have things to say. And then I think there's an ethical well, issue. You, when you to, accuse people of being bribed, it kind of no, 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 gets, gets their attention. Sir, hold on a second. I'm not accusing anybody of being bribed. I'm not. But some people are. Some people are. The reason I'm here is I think that there is an ethical issue that, as Senator Graham said earlier, it would be good for the court to think about in terms of being more transparent. That is what I care about. That's the only thing I care about. There's a lot of political back and forth that's very interesting. I, I'm very interested in it as a citizen of the United States. But I, I think the most useful thing that this or any other committee could do is think about how do we make our institutions... Well, how are you going to do that in the context, though, of, of one of our leaders for whom I have great respect going on the steps of the United States Supreme Court telling two justices if they vote in a way he doesn't like, they will pay the price and reap the whirlwind. I, I and you have another one of your witnesses here tweeting out stuff saying, no. quote, some justices are politicians in robes who thrive in a system where access and influence are for sale. Yep. He so, said they were bought like a sack of potatoes. Okay, I'm not, I'm not, true. I'm not gonna comment on that, Senator. That, that's not anything I had anything to do with, so. I think, did I hear the gavel? <laughs> Thank you, <Senator>. I hope. <laughs> Thank you, Senator Kennedy. Senator Hirono. I'm sorry, I got it wrong. Blumenthal. Senator Blumenthal. 